Hey everybody, it's Dora, that yarny zebra, but it is not me that needs to be in the camera. It is the machine. So what we're talking about today is making face masks. And I have one here to show you that has been done. And it has the little nodes piece right here that folds over your nose and keeps your mouth secure. Um, very simple stitch, can be worn this way. Um, and these go right behind your ears. This goes down under your chin. So, I don't know how well you can hear me. I always have a big mouth and talk too much, so I'm gonna try to get right down to business. Uh, in case you're trying to figure out the measurements, I have two pieces of fabric back to back. And I have my measurement here. Let you see that. It is almost, it's seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches from zero, there we go, seven and a half. Seven and a half this way as well. And if you are looking at this, you will see a little mark right here. There's a mark here. And there's a mark here. What we're going to do with those little marks is hide our elastic that's going to go over the ears. So we're going to turn our material back around here. Hang on just a second. I want my fabric to, you got, if you have fabric that has decorations on it, you might want to look at it and go, okay, this is where I want the ear pieces to be on this side. So the visual will be okay. So then you take where you have your little marks and you put your fabric up against that so you got your two pieces together with the print side on the inside so you can do your work on the outside here and get your stitching done so let's move right along we have our little elastics they are pre-cut and I will measure those for you from zero to six inches. Okay, come on. Get that to lay flat. We'll be able to measure that from zero to it's six inches. So those are a six inch earpiece. So you take your earpiece and we're going to hide it. And there's a trick to that. You put it right behind the first piece of fabric. This is the lining and this is the outer edge. So you put your little um, elastic, just have it sticking out just a hair right there so you know that you're not going to miss it when you stitch over it and get ready to start your mask. This is a protective face mask. This is not the one that was my particular pattern, but this is the one that has been in demand at hospitals and facilities. So we're gonna start, get this started. And when you get to your elastic, you're gonna back up. I'm using a contrasting color so you can see where the stitches are going. And we're down here to the other mark. So you're gonna reach inside, grab that elastic that you put at the top, make sure that it's the right way, that it's not twisted up, and bring it right in. Of course, now I'm going to put my needle down and work my way uh, to where that elastic is at 
the mark that I had put. It's about a half inch from your um, corner, a half inch from the corner. And here we go. We're going over the mark and we're going to back up to secure that. Okay. Turn your work. And it's going to pucker like this because look what's hiding under there. Yes, you're elastic. So don't let that bother you. Keep going. Keep going. I'm going to back it up. Just I'm going to go forward just a hair because I want to make sure that I get everything in here as far as material wise. Okay, we're just going to go all the way. Back up. Secure that little corner because we are going to work on those corners later. But here we go with our another piece of elastic. If it helps you to pin your elastic in before you get to this point, by all means, pin your elastic. But I've been sewing for years and sometimes I just get right to it. Okay, let's co cover that piece up. There's our mark right here. So we are going to start stitching. Make sure you don't get your elastic in the way. Make sure it's hiding over there. Here we go. I'm gonna back up. And here we go, down the line. Now I'm going to make sure that my elastic is not in the way. I'm going to make sure that it's not going to get in my stitch work. The masks that I have made for years are not this pattern, just so you know. But this pattern has um, been circulating. It is the easiest. It is the one that the medical uh, facilities are asking for right now. Just going to go in here and make sure that when I pull this over it's not going to be a twisted mess so here we go I've got it I hope you can see that you're going to laugh at me <laughs> Lucky is on the bed if he decides to get up and move around my uh, camera and tripod are up there and I'm sorry that this is not like zooming in so you can see all the details but here we go we got our elastic I'm going to pull it out the hair so that it is sticking out on the edge here. And here we go. Back up. Secure that elastic. Turn your work. Now this part, let me take a look inside here and see if I did it the way I want to. Uh, 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 uh. Excellent. Okay. This part is where you're going to leave an opening so that you can turn your work inside out or right side uh, out. So we're going to go for it. Stop right here, back stitch. Pick up your foot, move down. Straighten this out a little bit. Make sure you're not going to sew over your elastic and get it tangled up in anything. I think there's enough room there to uh, turn this. So let's go for it. I'm going to back it up just a hair. Make sure we got a good connection. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready. I always make sure I want to get all my uh, crazy little stitch work off of here. I don't like to leave it hanging. And I have found out that my snips are worthless. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got them right here. They don't cut. So, yes. I've got a big, big pair of scissors to work with. But here comes a little pair kid scissors kid school scissors they work better than mine i don't know what happened there okay let's move right along i'm hoping i'm still recording yes there's still a red light so this is where we're going to reach in we're going to pull our 
work right side out. So we're going to just tuck and turn, get this all turned about, and we are going to press on those seams a little bit. I do have my iron hot and ready over here, but it is not visually uh, in the picture where you can see it. I have a sewing table to the uh, right of me. And so here we are, we're getting it turned. And I do have a little helper here. I have been battling a fever off and on for, uh, well, a few days. So, yeah, why, what better use for it than to push your uh, corners? Before we uh, get on with that, let's just go right on over here, get this corner. Some of you may be taking your corners and cutting that fabric there on that corner so you'll have a point. Uh, it's not necessary, but if that's what you want to do, make sure you double stitch that so you will have a secure point and not put your uh, stuff through it like I just did. Oh, did you just see that? Okay, let's, let's, hey, it's all about reality here. I'm just human. Let me go in here and fix that right away. Because, oh, I did cut that little short right there. We do not want these to be uh, malfunctioning. So we're getting right in here. We're going to redo that stitch work. Make sure that we're not making a mess. Back stitch. And add a little extra security right here in this area. Definitely, we don't want that to happen again. So I'm going to pull my needle down, turn this corner, and give it another look-see. Okay. Hey, it happens to the best of us. No, long, no matter how long we've been needling, as I call it. So here we go. Let's do this again. Get that point. There we go. That's a little better. Here we go now, moving right along. Ah, this is good, this is good, good, good. This fabric is quite interesting. Some of the stuff uh, is upside down, some of it's up straight. So it doesn't really matter when you get your work going. This is just a protective mask. Uh, it's not like somebody's going to be having a fashion show, fashion statement, but this is for protection, and I just thank God that we're able to participate in this uh, endeavor. If you have fabric laying around and you can sew, get with it. All right. All right. Usually right at this moment is when I am uh, pressing this through the machine, I mean through the iron, I don't have the iron um, where you can see it, but I'm going to just give it a little press, finger press, that's what I call it, a finger press right here. Um, and you can see that this is wide. Looks like, oh, that is not going to fit anybody. But what we're going to do is put a car, about three pleats in here and you'll see how it makes a difference when we get these pleats in place. Uh, you're not going to be able to see all the fancy uh, pattern anyway, but those pleats are going to close up this big gap so that when you put this on, your ear, uh, it's going to stay on your face. All right, and here's the other side. But before we do anything else. I want to go ahead and do the nose piece, which is going to be right here. And the nose piece, I should have said, okay, you need to have all this, this, and this. The nose piece that I am going to use is a simple, very simple pipe cleaner. I mean, hey, if you don't have the fancy bread ties that come, you get a pipe cleaner and you just do what you need to do to make this work. So, 
what we're going to do is get us a pink pipe cleaner and we're going to measure it see how it'll fit right here for our nose piece I think it'll be about this size and we're just going to cut that just cut that off and I know these scissors are bad for the wear and tear so I'm not worried about trimming them okay see this point here you just take that and you push it down push it down on itself so you don't have a sharp point you do the same thing on this side just get that little point push it down nice and secure all right so you're not going to be stabbing it's not going to stick through the fabric and and scratch somebody's nose so you just get your work find your little spot that you had left the gap and here's your gap find that little gap you can turn your work this way if you think that will help you and you just work your pipe cleaner up in there and then you take it and you come back this way now some of you are thinking wait what it's going to get lost okay let's pull it out let's do our stitch across the top here we're going to do our stitch and we're going to do um, i'm going to go at three eighths or yeah i'm going to go about three eighths so you will know that you'll have enough space for that little piece to go through there and i'm not taking it all the way back there right now i'm just going to go right here with it okay that's just giving us a little channel to put our pipe cleaner in i'm using the navy um navy thread up there and here we go I'm just going to take that now and we're going to push it right through there we do have a little security there now you're not going to lose this pipe cleaner when you push it in there and you just make sure that you even it out measure it feel it if you have to mark your fabric so you'll know where it's going go for it but you need to make sure that it's about even on both sides. Okay. And make sure it's down in there all the way to your um, seam. Because we're getting ready to lock it in right now. Lock it in. Okay. We're going to lock it in. And here we don't give it much. It's a tiny little stitch we're putting in here. Just a little stitch right here to secure that in and close it off. Make sure that you are not running over your little piece of metal on that pipe cleaner. Move some of this thread. And there we go. I can feel the end of it right here. pull my needle down turn my work and I'm gonna lock it in do about five stitches down back up five stitches back down and then you just turn your work and close off any space that may have been left behind over here you just close it off make sure you're locking everything in all the way down to this side turn your work and lock it in on this side back it back up lock it back in there we go that is done y'all that is done now let's let's clean up all this mess all this foo-foo as I call it ah uh, yeah 
Oh, I'm going to have to go in here and do a little bit of um, clean up. This is, this is that part done. Now, I've used this kind of thread so you can see what happened on this side. Don't look at my messiness because I want you to see the channel that we made. Sorry, these, these school scissors are not making me happy. I, I miss my snips, my good snips. Yeah, I need some of those good things. All right, here we go. Here's the channel. And you've got your pipe cleaner in there. See how it works? That is going to hold this on the recipient's nose. Whoever gets this. And yeah, I know. It's probably going to be my beautiful mother because she has such a desire to have such a beautiful garden. So here we have that. I'm going to go run in here because I see I missed a stitch. Don't be like me and miss a stitch. But I am going back to correct myself. So I'm going to clean that mess up while I'm at it. Okay, next part is the pleats. Now, some people may do uh, the pleating first before they do uh, the nose piece. But, hey, everybody does it differently. Um, I had to learn how to make this mask because the one I make is completely different. Um, so, what we're going to do is find our pleating. And since this is where the nose piece is, we want the pleat to go down. So, we will just like pinch, pinch, and pinch again. And sometimes, you know, we make a big to-do about this and we are... I know that it took me hours to do my first one because my pinching and measuring was trying to be so precise that I overthought it. So I said, forget about it. Just get that pinching on. Get that pinching up there and sew it. Um, we're just trying to get these made so people will have access to them. Um, I mean, you know, you use wisdom. But don't take two or three hours to do one. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right up under here and start my stitching right here. I'm getting ready to just do it. See how simple that was? No stress. No, oh my God, it's not even. Guess what? There you go. I'm going to turn it around and go back just for security purposes. I'm going to go all the way down. Cut my thread. I'm going to come over and do the other side. Now, just sort of pinch it like I have it right here, the way that pinch it the same way, pointing down. Absolutely. Just get her done. Pinch this side. Here we go. Get it right up under here. Start your stitching. Okay, guys. It's not that difficult. It may felt like it, but here we go. Oh, come on, machine. Don't act crazy now. We're on we're on the uh, commercial. I mean, we're in the video. There we go. I'm going to turn my work around and go back up. Come on, baby. Let's do this. This little machine, I've had it a few years, so it's probably like 
Girl, you've been burning the rubber today. Well, true. I may not have felt the best, but I have been working on these. And I know that my mother is 82 years old and she needs this. So, that's what's happening right now. Let's get all the stitchy stitch stitch off of it. All the excess fabric uh, thread that's in our way right now. Let me clean this side up. Hey guys, you still with me? Oh my goodness, we are making it happen. All right, let's just look at this. There it is. 